Centuries ago, before the rule of Shao Kahn, Outworld was controlled by Onaga, the Dragon King. Recently, Onaga has found his way back to Outworld and is attempting to reclaim his former empire by any means necessary. Onaga, also known as the Dragon King, was the original ruler of Outworld, who was overthrown by Shao Kahn sometime in the distant past. The Dragon King came back to life by possessing Reptile's body. You see a hint of that in Sindel's Mortal Kombat Deception ending, where in the background you can see Reptile laying there on the ground after she has killed the Dragon King. In Mortal Kombat Deception, Onaga's main goal was to become the ultimate ruler of Outworld again. In Armageddon, he finds that he has to make some alliances to achieve that goal. Onaga the Dragon King is the big boss in Mortal Kombat Deception. The whole story is kind of wrapped around him. The Dragon King is kind of like a, a character that had been evolving through a number of Mortal Kombat games. You know, we had kind of hinted in a number of our endings that Reptile was becoming this character that was evolving over time into a bigger character. And Deadly Alliance started making reference to this Dragon King character and associating it with Reptile. He was really kind of like one of these characters that was like hinted and then finally revealed in Deception as the big boss character in the game. He's a huge character, massive wings, very ominous looking character. <laughs> Easily my favorite Onaga move is his throw, where he basically just grabs the opponent, flies up in the air, and then throws him down on the ground. It's probably the most cinematic throw move that we've had in a Mortal Kombat game. 